Helen Yee here with Eyes on the Game Sports, and I am here at Fight Capital Gym, where it is the first ever MMA gym in the state of Nevada, and I'm so grateful to be joined by the owner, Saigon Skipper Kelp. You started it with John Lewis, right? Yes, this was back in 1997 when mixed martial arts was getting into the public media just a little bit. John Lewis was the jiu-jitsu guy that was running around town, and I was a boxing guy, and people knew I had a martial arts background. And it just got around, you know, John wanted to learn boxing, and I wanted to learn jiu-jitsu. And, you know, through our small network of people at that time, we connected. And I taught John boxing, and I was doing his jiu-jitsu classes. I became John's trainer. He had a gym. It was JSEC Jiu-Jitsu. And uh, his gym, he's had his gym since 1994, 95. We teamed up. And we put the strike into his ground, and we opened up this gym here in 2000, and we've been kicking it ever since. There was a time when Fight Capital was the only mixed martial arts gym in town. And a general practice, you could come here at 12 o'clock on any given day, and upstairs on the mat, you'd have BJ Penn, Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, Rampage Jackson, Randy Couture, just all these guys training in one session. And it was before they were all superstars. You know, they're all great fighters and they were all great competitors, but that would be an average, typical training session. And, all right, training's done. All right, everyone, see you guys later. You know, now they've become superstars. And when I say that now, it's like, whoa, you had BJ Penn here. And, but uh, that's how it was back in the day. And this was, this was the hub for it. This was the only place people could come to and train mixed martial arts and get the good bodies to move with. I kind of have to um, do blasts in the past and bring up your boxing career. I started boxing in the 80s and I was, I tried out for the 1988 Olympic trials. I lost in the semifinals and I actually turned pro before 1992. A lot of my guys um, stayed amateur since 92, like Shane stayed amateur, uh, but we are all in the amateur program together. Me, Roy, even Oscar and all the 80s babies, though that was my graduating class, so to speak. And I boxed pro, I turned Pro in 1990, I moved out to Las Vegas to sign with Top Rank, had an eight-year pro career and won a lot of fights, lost a few fights and had a great career. It was a good foundation for me to get started with my future opening the gym and moving forward and staying in the business. Who's your favorite fighter to watch today? Oh, wow. Um, that's a good question. No, I, I like Jose Aldo. He's a well-rounded fighter. You know, I'm a, I'm, a lot of people love him or hate him, but I'm a fan of Conor McGregor. I, I think he's as quick-witted and as clever with his, 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 his smack talk. And, you know, he's not afraid to put his ass on the line, so to speak. And I admire that. Um, John Jones is incredible. I could go on and on and on about how great these fighters are, but I, j I just like the, the whole idea of top-level fighters on on in boxing or MMA, just the guys that commit and sacrifice and get to that level is admirable. So has anything surprised you about how the sports have evolved? No, I think it's just a matter of time with MMA. Boxing's been around for centuries. So boxing, you know, there's always new stuff. You're never, you never know everything, but boxing has, ha has its core. MMA, on the other hand, is, is such a young sport and it's evolved. The, the fighters, the athletes in MMA now are just on a whole nother level. Back in the 90s when I was training fighters and even consider MMA myself, you know, there was a few, it, it was really basic. Now, an MMA guy had very poor boxing, you know, and you could tell that it's not that good, but now the MMA guys, they're striking, is, they're starting to look like boxers in there, the rest is just morphing, and now it's not necessarily jujitsu or wrestling, or it's just MMA now. The styles have come together, and it's really exciting to see mixed martial arts grow. Um, as far as there's this whole conversation with an MMA guy beat a boxer, you know, a boxer's going to beat an MMA guy in a boxing match, an MMA guy's going to beat a boxer uh, in an MMA match, and that's just, they're two separate sports, but I think they both can coexist, and the conversation's fun. I think the conversation maybe helps bring it together a little bit, you know, piques the interest and maybe boxing fans cross over and MMA fans cross over, who knows. On your social media, which I want to get to in a moment, but I happen to see that Dana White comes through here as well, right? Dana White's a really good friend of mine. He's, um, he's a huge fight fan. You know, of course, he's the, the president of the UFC and as a businessman, his business acumen is 
through the roof. He's taken an organization that was underground at best and uh, made it the fastest growing sport in the world. You know, so for any person that that started from nothing and aspires to be do something huge, bigger than themselves, uh, Dana is the perfect mentor. And um, but as far as he and I as a friendship, it's great. We sit and talk about fights all day. We could talk about fight. You know, it's, he's a great guy. Um, we work out together, and uh, we just do you guys spar? No, we don't spar. Yeah, you know, we're <laughs> we're too old to spar now. So uh, we talk about the good old days, but no, we don't spar. We 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 lift weights like a couple of mid forty old men trying to stay in shape. <laughs> I've seen uh, quite a few uh, photos surface online of the guys coming in to train here before the fight tonight at the T-Mobile Arena. Well, it's great. The, the, the word is getting out. I've been in the game for a long time, so people in the industry know me. Um, we've had people come in forever. Canelo Alvarez has been here training for his fight the last few days for his fight. Shane Mosley was here last night. I mean, Shane and I were in the amateurs together, so we've known each other for years. Roy Jones, we, I came up together with Roy Jones. So now they're all starting to see that this is a gym, not just for members, it's for fighters too. You can come in and work out. And, you know, shamelessly, we've been posting everyone's workouts here, but they're good with it and everyone's appreciative. We put post them and just try to get some uh, social media activity going with the gym. But we've had high profile fighters coming in here since day one. Now, can any fighter just come in and train if they want to? Absolutely. You know, we... We are anti-affiliation. You know, you get in the more in, in MMA and jujitsu than boxing. You know, it's anyone can come train. The whole typical expression of leave your ego at the door. Come in and train, and we all get better together. How many coaches do you guys have here? We have um, uh, two jujitsu coaches, Rance and Shepard. He's our black belt. He's phenomenal. Great human being. Really knowledgeable jujitsu artist. Um, we have uh, Damian Nicken, he runs our youth program. Uh, David Sample, Coach King, David Sample's a former world champion. He runs our boxing program, the amateurs and pros, along with Jason Krokos, his assistant. Uh, John Balgami runs our Muay Thai program, and I run the boxing program with Coach King. I want to talk a bit about the foundation, and, and I know we touched on this a bit behind the scenes. Um, can you tell the viewers and listeners a bit more about that? Absolutely. So we started the Fight Capital Youth Foundation. Essentially, what we're doing initially, it's to get the kids, give the kids an alternative to do. Um, martial arts is one of the best forms of discipline. It gives them a sense of accomplishment, and, and they get to be around mentors that can then show them a different path. And it gives them some a, a way to release their energy. And we're, we started the Fight Capital Youth Foundation. Our goal is to have the ability to not charge any kid that comes in the gym they get to train and to take it another step further we want to get a facility where we have computers and after school programs and mentors coming from UNLV to tutor these kids and we're going to have a kitchen to where the kids can come in after school get a good healthy meal go train finish their homework do some studying eat and go home and then you know and this spreads on we, we won't only teach the kids you know math and English but we'll give them life skills on how to succeed in life or just positive mental attitudes. We'll have motivational speakers come and just tell the kids, you know, there's a different way of thinking. Sometimes in life, you're going to get this, but if you look at it this way, it's going to be this, you know, and just give them different options. And it gives me goosebumps thinking about the things we can do with the youth in this area and hopefully spread that to where other gyms are doing the same thing. And it won't be just about fight capital, it'll just be about the kids. So. Absolutely. And I mean, it's always great to spread positivity. But what gave you the inspiration to want to do this? Well, what inspired me about that was the idea that boxing has been a, um, a safe haven, a salvation for a lot of people, a lot of kids that came from nothing and otherwise would be nothing, would be in jail, would be dead. And boxing was their salvation. They had nothing. You don't have to have a lot of money to box. You just need to come and work hard. And it saved a lot of people. And, uh, you know, it kept a lot of my friends off the streets. And, and, and they created great lives for themselves. I had a good upbringing. My, I had two parents. And, you know, we weren't rich by any means, but we always had enough. And, you know, I was never in that position. But being in the boxing world, I was exposed to it. Yeah. And I see how boxing was able to save a lot of people who you know, could have taken the wrong path, you know. 
Yeah, and for those people that want to join, and we touched on this earlier, um, where can they find the gym here in Las Vegas and also uh, on social media and your website? Our website is fightcapital.com. Um, our address is 3071 South Valley View. We're, like I said, we're just an open gym. We invite everyone to come. It's a good, humble atmosphere. Uh, you're going to come in here and be greeted with a smile, not a mad look. But we train hard and we get after it. And we have all levels. A beginner, you don't have to know anything. We prefer, if you've never done this before, have a clean slate come in here. We'll teach you. We have fighters on the highest level. It's for men, women, and children. It's for everyone. Anyone can train. Anyone get in shape. Anyone could get better.